From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. Health officials apparently satisfied that the country is not headed into another coronavirus outbreak right now, so some other businesses are getting the green light to reopen under protocols. Some of the entertainment business, including movie theaters and Mario's Bowling, Operators reacting to that announcement, calling it a glimmer of hope for them. It will mean that some persons are going to be returning to work also. And that could begin to ease the pressure on the National Insurance Board, which has been providing financial assistance since the pandemic was declared. NIB Minister Roll telling the media NIB has spent more than anticipated. As for when it will stop, he says, there are concerns. We anticipate that industries will be coming back. We understand that they are coming back slowly. But I, I think the Bahamian public also appreciate that the government has extended income support much longer than even uh, we believe were, were possible. We anticipated that we would have gone to, to June. It's now almost 12 months. Minister Rowe estimates that NIB has spent more than $230 million so far, and he confirmed that no public service jobs will be cut to reduce spending despite the economic fallout from the coronavirus. And he revealed that a new NIB director will be in place, in his words, shortly. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials releasing the Monday coronavirus numbers for the country, just seven cases all in the capital, 13 persons remain in hospital, three of them in the ICU. Just over a 1,000 active cases for officials to monitor now. The death toll remains at 179. Health officials still waiting for the results of those tests they sent out to determine if any of those corona variants are here. There is politics in the news, both the FNM and the PLP announcing more candidates. And PLP leader Davis says they're deliberating and they should have their full slate by the end of the month. A woman who posed as a lawyer and smuggled drugs and other things into the Fossil prison is sentenced to more than a year in jail. 25-year-old Juanica Russell's lawyer told the court she was an unemployed beautician with a two-year-old child to support, and in his words, desperate people do desperate things. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. That frontal system stalled over Florida. Related weather staying to the north of us. Partly sunny, breezy, and humid. Highs from the low to mid-80s today. 81 at Freeport, 83 in the capital, 84 at Matthewtown. Caution flags are up for boaters. Winds up to around 20 knots. The seas up to 6 feet over open waters. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's world news headlines. Major weather issues continue in the U.S. Another winter storm is crossing the country, adding to the winter woes for most of that country. Storms blamed for at least 23 deaths so far. Millions are without electricity, and the cold continues for at least another day. Despite threats from the military, thousands of persons are protesting. The Myanmar coup for a 12th straight day. It's been peaceful so far, but the military is trying to clamp down. Another report that hundreds of schoolboys have been kidnapped in Nigeria again. The government there is looking into that incident. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 437, SO 439, Rubus $4.39 per gallon. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Another update on Bahamians and college sports in the U.S. 
including a good spot for tennis player Sidney Clark. Read about it. Buddy Heal, DeAndre Aiden, we have the latest on them in the trivial.